Hello, my name is Omar Padilla, and this is my clinical assignment presentation on legal issues in kinesiology. So I'd first like to start out with a facility background. I chose more of an athletic sports performance kind of setting for gyms, that being that <clears throat> those participants or athletes or even older adults that want to focus more on that sports um, realm is what this facility is more focused towards still. Um, that being said is because um, I grew up playing a lot of sports um, as as a kid and kind of continued and still am still playing sports and so that being said is just involving those that participate in sports that wish to participate in sports or even some sort of kind of physical fitness such as CrossFit. That being said is wanting to get those involved in that in that athletic performance and really kind of keeping an eye on what goes on in all that so making sure all the proper management's correctly, um, employment, and the liability. So employment is a big thing because um, nowadays a lot of facilities are looking for those that have a lot of experience, but also that are certified. So really having a lot of that background knowledge of what goes on, whether they're doing personal training or even just strength and conditioning, um, really having a lot of that background knowledge is key. Um, knowing what, knowing if an athlete were to get injured, what what would be the procedure to take that, um, whether it's taking a PT or kind of just lower things down on their intensity of just how to work out the athlete um, or just making sure they just get proper rest. So that being said is if employees are unsure, are unsure of how to approach specific things in that facility, is really asking questions so if they're unsure how something goes maybe asking another employee that's more certified in that and has more knowledge towards that really asking them what goes on um, so that way if they're assessing something wrong then they can approach that client and making sure they're correctly performing everything in that way that they are looking towards. Um, that being said is really making sure that everybody's um, safety is <clears throat> a top priority. So that kind of brings me to my next topic is the risk management. So here are some studies that I found. Um, the first one really involved to a trainer and a client that being, um, being that the trainer did not assess the client correctly. So because he did not assess him correctly, he experienced a heart attack. So being said that maybe he didn't ask proper questions towards that client um, or whether that client was not ready to work out, um, followed by that maybe his client, um, after he saw his physician, that his physician thought that it was okay for him to work out, trainer um, kind of thought the same route, or maybe he had missed something in the assessment test. So always make sure that the assessment test is done correctly, done by the client and by the trainer. So nothing should be missing. Um, always asking questions towards the client, making sure they're prepared when it comes to the first training session. And again, really being aware of that client because then it's all gonna come back, the facility is gonna get notified, and even management will get notified that this trainer did not do things properly. <clears throat> Next would be making sure the facility is A-OK -okay to um, be worked out in. So being that this next one, um, another individual got hurt. Why? Because there was an unpadded section of the ball in the court. So not just only in the basketball court, but maybe in the facility as in the gym, maybe there's something misplaced um, or something wasn't put um, correctly and the individual got hurt or something fell off the wall. So really making sure that the facility itself is running properly because if it is not, again, it goes back to the facility, goes back to management, individual will get hurt. Again, this is 
more of a class now. So in this one, an individual got hurt because the handlebars, the handlebars of a bike in the spin class were were not placed properly. So the member neglected that. So really, if one is neglecting that uh, part of the equipment, individuals will get hurt again. So not only was he teaching the class, but numerous individuals saw that he got hurt and he neglected the fact to tell management, oh, let's fix this bike. So really maintaining on management that things need to be put back into place or need to be noted that individuals <clears throat> will get hurt if this isn't done. So knowing that he was an employee, the employee should have noted what management um, to put that into <clears throat> and be le and state that this needs to get fixed. If it is not fixed, then individuals would get hurt. Really taking precaution and all that because neg negligence is such huge in in any sort of facility because even if it's the smallest thing, <clears throat> participants, individuals, members of the gym will state that. And that being said, that they will neglect that and things will start to fall fall into place. So really keeping noting duty by by things like that. So such as duty, breach of duty, proximate cause and damage. Damages could be faced towards the facility. <clears throat> so a couple more would be going through employment laws. So a lot of this kind of goes back almost similar to risk management but almost this is facing towards the employer itself or the employees. So this first one was the employee was watching over a, a student that had asked him to um, spot him. And so the employee had no idea how to spot him. And so basically he was talking to somebody else or he wasn't really paying attention. And the fact that he was neglecting or not really paying attention to the student, the student got hurt in that case. So really also keeping an eye on who you hire. So again, really hiring those that have that knowledge of what goes on in the facility. Not only if it's like, if, if the gym itself has a turf or a basketball court, also really noting that the employee knows how to handle all that even if it is also just containing weights. Um, so again, really knowing the employee and making sure that he knows what he is doing. <clears throat> the next one involved, again, in the basketball court, an individual got hurt because equipment was too close to each other. So the management should also be aware of how they set up the facility itself. If there are certain things certain equipment or certain weights even that are too close to each other really keeping a note that um that this should be moved somewhere else where there's more open space so not keeping too, too things too close to each other because it provides an unsafe facility and could put clients at risk and making sure that they won't return because of equipment or machines not being checked frequently so even checking even even like i said checking the equipment frequently so if equipment isn't being checked on um, individuals will get hurt members will get hurt um, and making sure everything's kind of in tip-top shape and again noting that even if the equipment is too close to be moved to a safer location um, because if other clients are not safe when members are around they're putting themselves and others at risk so let's so keeping an eye on the facility as a whole is is number one priority lastly another one involved in a coach so coach not only that was coaching a high school but <clears throat> outside of the high school this coach was kind of noted as um they were being discriminated towards because not only they were coaching a boys 
a girls varsity basketball team, but a boys as well. So something to note is just kind of keeping the overall, um, not having any sort of discrimination. So being able to hire anybody, even if they do know, even if they don't know, or if they're willing to learn. Um, but if they have really good knowledge, even if it is a female, um, females know just as much as males do that <clears throat> what goes on into the facility and out of the facility. So really keeping a note that not only, um, <clears throat> really keeping that set, um, not discriminating towards females because it's only a male thing to do. So really keeping it open towards anybody, even if it's, um, discriminating. So keeping the open <clears throat> field towards anybody. So some things that, um, application and fate integration that I saw that was important to keep in mind is so in this first one it says for as the body is one and has many members all the members of that body being many or one so kind of going back to the facility as a whole so this involves management and the employees so if <clears throat> if management is running the facility they should be working all together as a team so kind of like in the sport in the sports um you work together as a team to win to even lose like you're still working together as a team so not one person is gonna manage everything by themselves so really keeping it open towards everybody and this that's what kind of states the fact that <clears throat> well those that are higher above us will rule but also that they're giving us a lot of knowledge and background and even how to maintain things really being liable because if things aren't being watched upon um the facility itself can break itself down um when employees aren't doing things correctly um and again this the last one states it by itself that when the righteous in the authority the people rejoice but when one wicked man rules the people groan so again people as a whole and the the facility as a whole is going to run better together than if one person does it by themselves so really keeping that authority of that facility um really going back and making sure that everything is going as planned and some things to note is that well being this is that this is something that i'm going to really put towards to my career because it's something I've always wanted to do. So I really want to keep an eye on not only just the clients themselves, but also the employees. I really want to make sure that the employees know what they're doing because if the employees don't know, then the facility can't run itself. People get hurt. Um, and that's something that I don't want to come back to me when, if I did something wrong or if I hired the wrong person, but I do like to keep that open. To anybody whether they're female male gays straight anybody that um that's willing to just learn still and willing to put their hard earned effort towards learning how to run a facility correctly <clears throat> and really applying all this um all the legal rights and laws and even and things such as title nine like really keeping everything um open to anybody and really keeping that balance and equality for um, individuals and participants that are willing to just get better at their sport but also the employees get better at what they're teaching towards the the clients and just making sure everybody's learning in that in that facility and even working as a team <clears throat> that is all thank you so much